there we have also got an Aditya L1 mission and this is the proposed Indian Solar Observatory around the Lagrange point L1 and here the prime objective is to design, realize and launch a satellite for solar studies to be placed in a halo orbit around the Lagrangian point 1 and it will be around 1.5 million kilometers from Earth approximately at 100th of AU. The scientific objective itself will be to study the solar dynamics in the chromosphere and the corona and it has a suite of instruments including coronagraph and a UV major and the target is around 2018-2019 and orbit insertion is going to take about 100 days and about 5 years is the mission life. Now some of the science issues that could be addressed using this mission is the chromosphere transition region then the sequence of processes occurring on different layers, origin of dynamics of the solar wind, then the solar spectral irradiance and also the coronal magnetic field from space. And this is going to be the outside the Earth's atmosphere and its magnetosphere. It's ideal for studying the solar wind and the CMEs and it enables no occultation of the spacecraft's line of sight. So continuous observation of sun is possible and it's possible to do long integrations for measuring coronal magnetic fields. Then it's also will be possible to observe sun during all phases of the solar cycle. Then placing a solar spacecraft will enhance the significant capability of our <coughs> missions. There are a number of payloads which are <coughs> planned here. Visible emission line coronagraph, coronagraph, solar UV telescope, solar particle experiment, plasma analyzer package, then the solar low x-ray spectrometer, hard x-ray spectrometer and also a magnetometer and this is a magnetometer is a late addition and a significant amount of technical challenge is there in ensuring that this magnetometer will be able to provide <coughs> useful data for the various applications. Then this is how the spacecraft itself will look like. And of course the challenges involved is the realization of uh, a field of view of 1.05 the inner solar radius and 2.5 arc second pixel spatial resolution. Then the scatter issues, then the high voltage required for both the aspects payload and the papa payload. Contamination issues related to imaging payloads of SUAT. Of course uh, the contamination issues we can definitely say we have a significant handle because the AstroSat also carries a UV telescope which has had many technical challenges of maintaining the cleanliness required and a good handle is available on this right now. Then the stringent pointing accuracy requirement and then the magnetic test facility required for calibration and evaluation and there is a, a large boom required for deployment. 